Elminster. Oh, hello, my boy. No, don't mind me. I'm uh, just enjoying a lungful of bull durian <laughs> Yes, a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of bottling. I hear you've been browsing in the most esteemed of emporiums, sorcerous sundries. <laughs> uh, indulge my curiosity. What wonders did you discover there? I trusted he would be sensible enough to exercise caution in this matter and to seek the truth. By now, you are aware of the evil we are up against. Cassos's pestilent crown, the very tool with which its eponymous creator unmade an empire and magic itself. Perhaps now you understand what is at stake here, my boy. Though what Mr. asked of you was extreme, it was not without merit, nor demanded lightly. What are you saying? Or rather, what are you not saying? Mr. knows you defied her, Gail. Well, of course she knows. She's Mr. She bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. There, she will grant you an audience at last. I see remaining optimistic is my duty. Especially when I'm not the one being asked to do the seemingly impossible. Trust in yourself. Trust in the weave. If you are willing, trust in Mistra. There is a conclusion yet to be written in this sorry tale, Gale of Waterdeep. And yours is the quill that will write it. Go ahead. I'm listening. I've often asked myself the same question. I never really found a satisfactory answer. He clearly sees something in me that I can't. The wisdom and intelligence required to overcome almost insurmountable odds, perhaps? All the stupidity required to attempt it. I take it as a compliment either way. You don't get to be 13 centuries old without becoming a sound judge of character. And cheese, apparently. I regret many things in my life. Choosing to be here, intact and unexploded, is not one of them. For now, to have a few more days in your company, no. I wouldn't change a thing. So all it took to get Mistress' attention was to learn how to reforge an artifact that once destroyed her. It's obvious when you stop to think about it. Well, I doubt it's an apology for asking me to die on her behalf. Whatever it is. If it's important enough to send Elminster, we can be damn sure she's serious. This is a conversation that's long overdue on both sides. I owe it to her to hear her out. Come what may afterwards. After you.